It's Kirk Smith again with the Easy Breezy Home Buyer standing here at our home on Ketch Court in Chesapeake. We recently did a walkthrough video of this property. It's currently under rehab. Thought I'd do a quick update for you. If you have a home you'd like to sell, please give us a call at 720-7355. That's 720-SELL, S-E-L-L, -L, or 7235. You can also visit our website at www.easybreezyhomebuyers.com. Fill out the quick and easy form there. We'll get in touch with you, make an appointment to come by and take a look at your home and give you a fast, fair cash offer for your house. That link is in the description below. So let's take a look inside. Um, we've got a fair amount of confidence, not a lot to do to this house. If you watch the walkthrough video, you'll remember that the rehab is pretty light. But we do have all the flooring out. All the walls have been finished and painted. All the trim has been painted. All the doors have been painted. We just have to change out the hinges and the doorknobs on all the doors. Uh, again, the flooring has been pulled up. We're going to be tiling around that fireplace, as you recall from the walkthrough video. So we're going to be picking out tiling and getting that done shortly. All the ceilings have been finished with a nice swirl finish, both upstairs and down. We did install can lights here in this main living area, which gave it a nice, more updated contemporary feel. You'll notice there is not an opening between here and the kitchen. If you watch the walkthrough video, You'll remember that that was the plan. Here's the bathroom, by the way, again, just painted. Nice new swirl finish on the ceiling. But we were gonna open this up, have a little pass through here uh, with the granite countertop, open it up over the sink. It would have been really cool. Problem is, when we got into the kitchen and we opened up the other side, we found that there were three vent pipes. One of them going right up the middle, a vent pipe coming right off the sink straight up there. That could have been rerouted. Uh, one vent pipe was over here, one was right over here, uh, over the, on this side, and then one right at the center. Both the side vent pipes would have caused us to have to narrow the opening slightly and not go the full width. Could have lived with that, um, but rerouting this center one would have been a challenge. And it also would have been a challenge then to properly support the weight above with a header, having those go through there. So it was just gonna be a challenge so we elected to leave it alone uh, really wish we could have opened it up but this allowed us to use uh, taller cabinets here on the left rather than the shorter cabinets like we had planned so we'll give a little more cabinet space um, so this, this kitchen is prepped and ready for cabinets um, those are probably the last thing that goes in just because of availability and how quickly they're able to do it but everything is ready obviously we'll put the cover back on and paint it for the um, electrical panel. So that's the kitchen. Again, ceilings are swirled. Everything is nice, new, white, clean. We'll put a uh, light fixture here, light fixture there. And that'll pretty much complete the downstairs. Take a quick walk upstairs. We have removed all of the carpet. We have not yet removed the chair lift. We'll do that before carpet is installed and flooring, but it's all been removed. So all we have to do now is Recarpet these stairs as I mentioned in the original walkthrough video We're going to put carpet throughout the entire upstairs except for the bathroom Which will be the same vinyl plank flooring as down below But everything's been painted Ready to go Utility room's been painted Painted the shelf nice and white We'll replace the outlets And the covers We'll paint that around the water supply lines. We'll have to put some sort of a box to accommodate for the dryer. Um, but this is pretty much completed except for flooring. Bedroom number one again painted. All the ceilings have been swirled and finished. All the doors and trim have been painted. Closets are painted. So just really waiting on flooring. And these up here will pretty much be complete. Uh, you recall we were going to repair, not replace the windows. So we had that done. Had some glass replaced. I'll have to replace some screens too, but had some glass replaced and fixed the balances so that they now open properly. So that was all done. Same with this window back here. Just simply repaired it rather than replaced it. 
nice heavy aluminum windows, tip-in feature. Didn't make sense to completely replace them, so we repaired them. Closet's been also finished. We'll add some more shelving down here on this lower level. So we've got more room in here for hanging clothes. Again, ceiling all fixed. So we've gotten quite a bit done in a very short period of time. Same with this bathroom. It's ready to go. Again, we're going to keep this tub and surround because it's in very good condition. We'll just clean all that up. Put on a new shower head. Put in a new vanity. New toilet. And this will be ready to go. So that's the update. We'll show you some more once we get more completed. Um, I'm sure we'll do an update once we get the tile around the fireplace and at least the downstairs flooring down. The upstairs carpet will probably be one of the last things we do. All right, so check back. Again, if you have a home you'd like to sell, give us a call. 720-7355 or 720-SELL or www.easybreezyhomebuyers and that link is in the description.